I know that we've created many matrices in NumPy by this point, but we're going to start this lesson off by learning a bit more about them. By now we know that we can create a matrix simply by passing in a nested Python list, and NumPy will convert it to a 2D array. For example, we can create this in Python, and as you can see by this type annotation, this is a list of list of integers. And all we need to do to create a matrix is pass it into the NumPy array constructor. When we print the NumPy array, what we get as an output is a matrix with some really nice formatting. If we were to print the Python matrix without NumPy, we'd end up with a regular list of lists. Now I'm going to change this to data, which will just create the matrix immediately inside the array constructor. And what we're going to talk about next is indexing and slicing. Indexing and slicing a matrix might seem intimidating at first, but you will get the hang of it quite quickly. Right now, let's just print the data so we can see what we have. And when we run this, what we should get back is this matrix over here. Then what we want to do is grab the first element. So here we're going to type in data at the index of zero. And what that's going to return to us is actually the first row. So by default, this refers to the row. If we were to refer to two, it would grab this row over here. And just to make this look nicer, I'm going to print selected. So in the console, we can see what we've selected. Or to even make it look nicer, we can just add the data here. Now we're talking. But if you want to grab a specific element, you start by referring to the row and then to the column. So let's pretend we want to grab element number four. What we have to do here is specify the second row and the second element. So data at the index of one, one. And that's going to return to us four because this is at the index of one and the first column is also at the index of one. If we type in two and zero, it's going to return to us the element five because this is at the index of two and this column is at the index of zero. So when we run this, we're going to get five as an output. Now slicing matrices follows the same concept. And for this, since it's going to look messy, we're going to create a new print statement. Print data from the index of zero to two. Now, when we run this, it's going to select the first two rows. If we insert one, two, three, it's going to return to us the last two rows. And we can also select which column by specifying it after. So here if we insert zero, it's going to return to us three and five. Here we're telling NumPy that we want to retrieve these two rows and zero is telling NumPy that we want to retrieve the first column or the elements from the first column. And that's how we ended up with three and five. Moving on, we're going to be talking about some operations involving matrices. And for this example, I'm going to create two matrices, which are called D1 and D2, because in my head, I thought of this as data one and data two. And this is what the data looks like. D1 contains a matrix with these elements and D2 contains a matrix with these elements. As I showed you in the previous lesson, once you've created matrices, you can use arithmetic operators on them as long as they are of the same size. For example, if we want to add these together, we could type in D1 plus D2. And when we run this, we should get the sum of both of these matrices. So five plus one gives us six. Then we get six plus two, which gives us eight, seven plus three, which gives us 10, and eight plus four, which gives us 12. And you can do this with the other operators as well. Now, if they are not of the same size, for example, if we have one array that looks like this and another array that looks like this, the broadcasting rules will apply. So when we print D1 plus D2, what we're going to get as an output is 100 and 200 being added to each and every one of these. Once again, this will not work if we have three elements here. These shapes are not compatible. Next, I want to talk a little bit about generating numbers. In NumPy, we have a few special methods that allow us to create matrices much faster. We already went over these earlier, but I just thought it would be a good idea to cover them one more time. First of all, let's create a matrix of zeros. And to do that, we just type in NP zeros and specify the dimensions, two by two. And we can do the same thing with ones. But in this example, I'll do a three by three. And when we run this, what we should end up with are these two matrices. But what if you want to create a matrix that contains random numbers? Well, to do that, we need to create a random number generator. So here we'll type in RNG, which will equal np.random.defaultRNG. Then we can print RNG.random, 
And inside here, we're going to pass in four and three. Now, when we run this, we're going to end up with this matrix that contains all of these random numbers. And random number generation is an essential part of NumPy. It is something that's definitely worth getting into in depth. NumPy makes it very easy to generate random numbers. With the random number generator we created earlier, we can also generate random integers. To do so, we're going to type in RNG integers, and we want the integers to range from zero to 10. Then the size is going to be a two by five, and the endpoint is going to be set to true because we want 10 to be inclusive. Now, when we run this, what we will end up with as an output is this matrix over here with a size of two by five. As you can see, the elements range from zero to 10. If you set endpoint to false, 10 is going to be exclusive. So you will only get values from zero to nine. I'm not going to dive any deeper into random number generation in this lesson though. I will create a dedicated lesson in the future.